Hey guys, and welcome to the final edition of our summer reading list, which is for our amazing parents. As you can see, I'm on my own here. I do miss my little sidekick, Shade. But she's doing really well, and I just wanted to do this for the parents, which is great. So before we begin um, this review, I would like to mention our latest issue, which is out, and it's issue 12, and it's all about the sports edition, and you can find it on our website. So it has an amazing book reviews, interviews with writers and illustrators, and also some activities, a really great read. So do head over to our website if you would like to purchase that issue. So shall we begin? So our first one, oh, I miss Shade because we normally hold each other's books and stuff. So let's see how we go with this. First one is from Zadie Smith, The Fraud. Really good. We know that Zadie Smith is a really established writer within the writing community. Really excited to, um, oh, it's a big one. <laughs> I was really excited to receive this. Absolutely love the colours of this and the font is lovely. Really nice. Love it. So this is actually her first historical novel based in Kilburn, Northwest London, in 1873. So it's like a legal trial divides Victorian Britain, truth and fiction based around Jamaica and Britain. Really like it. And what I really love about this novel is that it has really short chapters. So it really gets you hooked in. So I think this is a real talk about. So, yeah definitely part of my summer list I think it's really cool so yeah so our next one and she is definitely friends of Shadow magazine and she's been in our recent issue is Jessica George and it's Ma this is actually um a proof copy but this is out already um excellent this book is superb oh my gosh I can't rant about it anymore <laughs> it was a really good read like really intense at times funny um sad like it had a mixture of emotions and it was so fun to read really enjoyed it um so maddie the main character it's all about her life and she's told who she is she's the one that takes care of everyone including her father who has parkinson's um i thought that was really important to put that in there um, and after speaking to Jessica she thought it was important as well and the reasons why she um, put that condition in there as well however Maddie has had enough and needs to speak up so Maddie knows about the kind of woman she wants to be but life is really busy from all areas and she definitely deserves the best but what will it take losing everything to find her voice as I said um I'm not Ghanaian, um, but my husband is Nigerian. And there were so many different things in there that um, I was discussing with him because it's quite similar, Ghanaian and Nigerian and even Jamaican, just the way that parents are and the ways they raise us. And just all these things that are in there, I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, that does happen. And yeah, it just gets you talking. I just love it. I just think that Jessica is a brilliant writer. She's a young writer and she smashed this. So yeah, if you haven't got this already, I advise that you get it because um, you will thoroughly enjoy this. So our next one is about our Caribbean queen because I am a Caribbean queen myself. And it's Fire Rush. Again, this is approved, but this is out already. The cover's not that different from this. Um, and it's by Jacqueline Cook crooks sorry crooks um we actually interviewed Jacqueline she's on our parents corner on our website and also we will be interviewing or we'll having a spotlight of the illustrator of this and she'll be in our next issue and so yeah this book is amazing it's so beautiful it's about um beautifully written with lots of like rich culture so the Jamaican culture the Caribbean culture a debut about dub reggae love loss freedom unforgettable portrait of a black womanhood i mean it's beautiful like when you're immersed in it it feels like you're actually there when you're at the dances it's like really lovely it's just yeah it's beautiful and i just love the little like patois in between there as well and 
Oh, I love Jamaica. So it's my country. I just love it. So yeah, this is based in the 1970s to 1980s, a time where Bristol, in Bristol, um, where Yane, the main character, gets caught up in a criminal gang, and then Jamaica, and then Jamaica, where she indicates more eventful situations. So there's like topics about Jamaica as well, and like the landmarks and stuff like that. It's really good. Um, really great reads. Really enticing. And then our last one, but not least, is their friends of Shade Mag as well, and it's to my sisters. A guide to building long life relationships. Oh, I think this is so important. I spoke to Shadi about this as well, and she really thinks this is really important as well. Um, I think having a good friendship circle is important for women, um, especially when you need love and support. So the girls, um, Renee and Courtney, they are really amazing. They actually host a podcast which is a hit podcast as well, um, to my sisters, and they've created this essential guide to sisterhood as well. Um, the one goal Renee and Courtney want women to win with their own friendship spanning a decade, and they want to redefine um, womanhood and by creating a global community for women to help each other. So, I mean, this is really lovely. Um, let's grow, let's glow, and let's grow together. Really great. This is out already. We already interviewed um, Renee and Courtney. And you can find that on our parents' corner. So beautiful to speak to them. Um, their podcast is amazing as well. Really insightful, really positive. I think we need more of that. So yeah. So that is it for parents' corner. I feel like I want to do a bit more of these. I feel like um, I do have time to read. <laughs> Very busy mama here, but I do have time to read. And when I do read, I really enjoy it. So I do have quite a few that I want to share. So I'll definitely do that. But I just want to say thank you so much, guys, for watching our four episodes of our summer reading list. It was a big one. We really like doing these. We'll be definitely doing a wrap up for 2023. And I will have my beautiful editor-in-chief next to me my beautiful daughter i know a bit biased but she is wonderful um and so what i would like to say is thank you so much for watching please do subscribe and like this video if you like it and don't forget to head over to our website which is www.shadowmagazine.co and you can find subscriptions you can um, read our blog posts um, we're really happy about our blog post. We have some amazing people on there. Uh, writers, illustrators, entrepreneurs. We have a lot on there. So we're really happy about that. So until next time, bye.